This Let's Play series is sponsored by THQ Nordic in preparation for Dark Siders 3. Check out the links below to find out more. Then the real fun begins. Now, let's get this thing back to Samael. I suppose... Is this just gonna take me straight back to him? No, we're actually gonna end up with Ulthane. Welcome back, horseman. <laughs> you could have knocked, but I suppose that isn't your way, is it? Why are you here? Strange question, seeing as how you're the one broke into my house. You weren't always the Black Hammer. You huddle in exile, a hermit among tombstones. Why? What role did you play in this, Ulthane? Horseman, I've got something for you. A fair bit of work, but uh, it's a bit dainty for me. Ooh. It'll serve you better. A gun! I am ready! You didn't answer my question, old one. Maybe I like the scenery, what's it to you? You asked for my help and I gave it. You go on being ungrateful, and I'm liable to get upset. Do I look like I'm afraid of death, boy? It's not death you should fear. Yeah, it's war. <laughs> Or mercy, a beautifully crafted pistol that decimates foes with an unending supply of supernatural rounds. Damn it. Well, this is probably gonna let me keep combos up a little bit more, but we'll see. Anything else you can do for me? That it? Fine. At least he says it slightly differently. So you know you know. Let's see if I can get him to say it a third different way. Also, I want to see if there's anything down here. I don't think there is. You can tell they really don't want you to do anything in this room because it's pretty inconvenient to move around it. Get off of my property! For more pigeons come looking at crap in the yard. Okay, that works. It's a different line. I guess we'll go to talk to somebody else. I'm leaving! What do you mean it's good to see me again? God! Well, now that I can probably open these doors... I should probably look around a little bit. Now, maybe this gun does a good bit more damage than my crossblade. That would be... That'd be really nice. Because then I could actually use this in combat a little bit more than the crossblade. Crossblade's okay. But I need it to kill things. Not just slightly stun them a little bit. And have them turn around and go, oh, what was all that about? I also like how there was like pretty much no Vulgrim points around this place. They just really didn't want to bother. Okay. You know what I'm here for. I'm here for that chest. There are things that we left behind. I'm gonna make sure I get, although it's a little uh, annoying getting over there. <laughs> if I had noticed that behind me, I would have just grabbed the chest earlier. At least I'm not being like slaughtered right now. Could have just had more angels. I would have just had to accept that I I did come back to an area and they would have to respawn. There. 
one more Rashar and things will be great. I still have a very convenient way to regenerate Wrath, but I guess, oh well. I accept that. Now, there were crystals along the path before, but I guess they're just all gone. I guess they all got smashed up as we were going down here. I was hoping maybe there'd be yet another secret around here. But the answer is nay. Okay, I guess I just gotta take the long haul back. Although, hello. I see a chest. And I think it's a soul chest as well. Nice. Double benefits. I'm still not ridiculously rich. I'd love to have like 40,000 souls. But I'll just have to take my tiny little bumps here and there. Okay. So... I'm obligated to check out the entrance of this place. Just in case there was actually a crystal thing that I could have destroyed and I just didn't see it beforehand. Ooh, a chest! Missed that on my way in. I, I, I decided that, yeah, it doesn't look like there was anything else we would destroy. So I'm just heading back. There was a chest that we never investigated that I mentioned beforehand. But I don't want to go all the way over there and then walk all the way back. There really should have been a Vulgrim spot here that, like, is hidden behind one of the, one of the destroyables. That would have been nice. But I guess... They don't really need to bother because you're not really going to come back here, I think. While there are plenty of places for me to backtrack to, I didn't really have anything else in that area that made me go, Oh, I'm definitely not going to get that ability around these parts. Is it lock on? Come back! Hey, it doesn't really. That makes me sad. I thought I could just sit there doing some gun foo, some gun kata. But that's not what we're about. Hmm, how far away are we from Samael? I'm probably just gonna fast travel. You've given the griever something to cry about. Well done! Now then, let's deal. What, do you have anything new? Old Vulcan's got something new for you. Ooh. Alright, extra damage for my blades, that's good, or my gun, that's good. And then we have different attacks for the... the gauntlet. But I don't think I care too much for the gauntlet. I'm going to clear that grass. As you are powerful. Old Voldem's got something new for you. And then what else? Plague enemies with an affliction that causes damage over time? Nah. I could go for Stone Skin 4, or I could go for some of these other abilities. I do like the sound of Meteor Launch, or Air Tremor Smash. Having something that allows me to knock enemies back away from me is sometimes more preferable. But... I'm committed. Hard a bargain, friend. I am committed. I want- I want Stone Skin- Oh, whoops, I gotta go through the Serpent Circle. Samael's waiting for us back at the prison. Yeah, 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 okay. I want stone skin to be awesome, so that way I can get into really tough fights and possibly walk away from it. Although, to be honest, I was also hoping that level 3 would be the last level. I was wrong. There is a 4. Maybe even a 5th level to stone skin. I hope it's worth it in the end. You know, I wouldn't mind if, if the Watcher had given us 
I like lore bits here. I like lore bits in the middle of walking around in random places. Alright, can I make it back from over here? Not really. Last time we fast traveled to the middle, we got immediately put into a cutscene. Didn't get it this time. Yeah. It doesn't look like my gun does as much damage as I would like. But it looks like it kind of keeps my combo going. So that's kind of, I guess, the important part. As long as you're actually hitting an enemy. But I don't think I'm going to be pulling off any S combos anytime soon as war. Fine, I'll give you the honor of a finisher. <laughs> From downtown, here comes the car. Nice army. Did you enjoy yourself? War in the Black Hammer, plucking pigeons. <laughs> You see a great many things from inside a prison, Samael. There is little you can keep from me, Horseman. Once I have a mind to know it. And what do you know of Uriel? <laughs> ah, I thought the Horsemen were above such earthly pursuits. Hey! She believes I killed Abaddon. The Hellguard worshipped their fallen lord and leader. And Uriel? <laughs> Some might say her admiration was less than professional. <laughs> she will stop at nothing to punish the one responsible. I fought the demon who killed Abaddon, and he will be punished. Straga is the strongest of the Chosen. No doubt you'll face him again. He draws power from the Spire, and won't stand to be away from it for long. With all I have taught you, you might even survive the reunion. Whose heart would you have, demon? The Stygian is king of the ancient worms that now plague the Ashlands. It won't be easy. The worms grow well in such fertile ground. Fertile? Fertile with death. Decay. All the land is covered in it. The ashes of the dead. But you may be in luck. It seems that some fool demons have taken to capturing the worms for sport. And they hunt other creatures as well. The strongest are made to fight in cruel arenas. The demons seek to tame the Stygian, not knowing that within the monster there beats the black heart of the Chosen. How do the demons avoid the Ashworms? You know of the Chronospheres? A gift of the Old Ones. It is said that to master the Chronosphere is to master time itself. One could stop time, or even move it forward and back. Indeed. None of the Old Masters exist, but the demons have learned to use them to a lesser degree. I can grant you a basic understanding of the Chronospheres. It won't be much. Perhaps just enough to avoid the worms. I'm down for time control. Perhaps, perhaps not. What in this life is certain, Horseman? Other than our word, of course. I was looking for something else. I remember... I remember this section as well. Or at least... The look of the huge ass ashy desert. Chronomancer. War can now activate chronospheres and temporarily slow down time. Alright, I just have to find out what the chronospheres look like. And also figure out how to get over there. I think I have to go this way. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. 
Yeah, I'm remembering now. We have to smash some crystals in the tunnel. Right over there. Greetings. According to Samael, you need to use the chronospheres and the Ashmans to reach the demon's camp. Well, there are many things that I want to also be able to help me in escaping from the worms. Such as, you know, a horse. For the horseman. They'll come. In time. I'm gonna need one of those puzzles where I have to, like, combine three different weapons in order to really take advantage of everything. But that, uh, that might not count. Okay, maybe it's not as effective at keeping combos up as I was hoping. The lock-on has me wanting. Oh, I can hold it down. I've been pressing the trigger individually. But I can just keep doing this. Man, if this is what the damage is like with the buff, ugh. Okay, it looks like we're getting only one more generability. So you know what a lot of these things look like, at least. I was about to say, let me guess, there's something back here that lets me open up the area. Hello. So this isn't a chronosphere thing? Alright. We'll figure you out at some point. Using chronospheres. Chronospheres hold the power to slow down time. Use crossblade to activate chronospheres at a distance. Oh. I gotta chronoblade it up. You got it. Fine. I was hoping to activate it and then hit the chronosphere. That seemed like the smart path. But this works as well. I need to assign my gun. There. If only I could block more often! I could be such a more hyper-effective horseman. Bringer of the apocalypse. I like guess the horsemen don't really bring the apocalypse, they kinda just come along with the apocalypse. I hear, aha, an artifact. Just shimmering around. I wonder if there's a... an unlockable that will show me where everything is. I always kind of hope for it. Because sometimes... Yeah, I'm not trying to look at every single dead end. Is that a bat? Oh, wow. They're scarier bats, ow. Can I instant kill them? Ah, I still can! It doesn't matter what kind of bat they are, they all fall down the same way. Now their attacks just keep hitting each other or hitting environmental pieces. Ow. I was trying to block, but right.
I have to be holding down the analog stick to block. Pretty sure I saw a zombie around here. Oh, doesn't matter. Oh! What the hell? Are these... These... Angels? Why do they look like this? Are they infused with darkness? Are they dark angels? Are they allied with demons? I need explanations. Why do the hell god truly start to match what their names sound like? You're just disappointing me, War. I see that lifestone shard over here. You're not hiding it from me. And then there's just a random artifact. Ooh. That is the third chest that we've seen. That I need to figure out how to get. At least, I guess it's not really a chest. It's more like a... Like a forge with an item over it. Ooh. <laughs> Good luck, war! Okay. Why are you over in a spot like this, Baldrin? What would you ask of this humble merchant? Can't you, like, make a bridge? Can I pay you to make a bridge? That would be... that'd be swell. Hmm... Let me know if I can help you. You are as wise as you are powerful. I have been using Demon's Edge a little bit more. So I might as well increase the general power of it. And then continues to sadden the people who are like, But Gom, I... I have a thing for gauntlets, and I just really want to see you smack the shit out of things with gauntlets. Please, Gom. Upgrade the gauntlets more. And then I have to just say no. I like smacking things around with my sword. It's got a... It's kind of the primary weapon, you know? when things are far enough away, and you have a gun, and the game just decides, you know what would be great? The bullets just stopped existing at that range. It's a gun! Bullets go pretty damn far. At the very least, just give me bullet drop. Oh my! It's the big boy! Yeah, he doesn't really approve of air combos. Oh, I'm ripping off the horns when I'm doing this. Okay. I didn't closely look at what that animation was doing before. I thought we were trying to ride the animal and use it for a second to hit its friends. No, it's just more damaging it. <laughs> Alright, I just had to make sure that there wasn't a chest just waiting at the end of the area for me. So surely I can use my gun to knock things down as well, right? Yeah, that's what I thought.
Hmm. But I can't push this. So what is the purpose? I have to investigate. Hmm. What if I can permanently kill that thing? Probably not. I think I may- I might just have to use this box. To close the gap. <gasps> oh, hello! I see you hidden over here. Now I'm sure this is a part of the Abyssal set. No. No, it's not. War fills with hatred and generates chaos at an accelerated rate. And that is an equipable? I guess so. Allows chaos generation by all weapons. Boost chaos gained by Chaos Eater Sword. Ooh. But I... I want to continue boosting the experience of this. But chaos... I... I want... I want it. I'll just assign it to the, the gauntlet. If only I could combine some of these together. Get like a little bit of a lesser effect, but you still get both. Wow, this is a lot of bombs. They're completely unnecessary. Oh, I, I almost went for that pipe right there. My greed is on full alert right now. Or at least I'm trying to keep it on full alert. Alright. This- this is a very long sewer pipe. They're probably using it to load the area. We gotta be- we gotta be close. Oh my. Oh my. Let's uh, let's use the Chaos Eater. Or not the Chaos Eater, the Crossblade. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I tried jumping. I tried. That was just too close. Okay. I can only be happy that they just don't straight kill us there. That'd be- that'd be a- that'd be rough. That'd be so sad. Okay, now that I never have to go back in that room again, I'm moving on. Happy enough. Mm, this almost looked like it would lead somewhere. What was that? Oh, that was just the sound of my shadow flight. Hey, lifestone shard. Nice. If I find another Vulgrim point, I need to like teleport back to the very, very first area we ever were, where we first met Vulgrim, because I think there might be some things around there that I could get. Speaking of Vulgrim. Hey there, Vulgrim. Greetings. Okay. I want to see what's going on. All the way back at, I guess, the crossroads. Because I think there might have been a couple of things there. But I'm never fully sure. Hello. It does look like there is something here. There's also... Another one of those grappling hook looking points. But I can't access that right now, so this is we just get to make do. Hellfire. Instills a melee weapon with the element of fire. Oh ho ho. 
That sounds cool. Does it have any passives? Has a chance to inflict fire, fire damage upon targets. Boost weapon damage on strikes. Shoot, man. I can equip that on my Chaos Eater, so that way I just always have fire. As much as I like boosting my weapon experience, I don't really... We're, we're, our Chaos Eater is going to hit max level at some point. I don't really mind. All right. Now I've got a sword that truly, I think, is befitting war. And we'll just have to see how much damage it actually does. Now somebody told me that there's a chest that spawns if destroy all the fire hydrants in this area. I don't know if I'm being bullshitted, so I'm going to take a quick gander around here. Hey, thank you for watching. If you're interested in the Dark Siders series or Dark Siders 3, check out the links below for more info. Thanks again to THT Nordic for sponsoring this series, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.